just out shows many Canadians are responding to workplace demands by having fewer children later in life or none at all. Lori Graham has more now on the trend and what it means. Why don't you tell me a little bit about what you Dee Dee Vergadas loves her job. She's the president of her own company, a weight loss center. She works about 60 hours a week and doesn't have much time for anything else, especially kids. The decision for me to be child free was definitely a conscious choice. I did weigh out the fact of, okay, if I engage in children, what will, what will that get me versus if I have a career, what will that get me? And ultimately, what's going to make me happiest? and the career won out. She's not alone. A new study that interviewed more than 31,000 Canadians found that just over half cope with work stress by limiting family size. One in four said they had fewer children because they couldn't balance their career with kids. 28% said they either delayed starting a family or decided not to have children at all. What was very sad was that in fact people who applied that kind of coping strategy actually are doing better off. No attention. No tension for Sandra Rusciuto, not now. She owned her own business a year ago and says her choice not to have children was a good one. I don't have time for myself, it's all I did. So, you know, just working a lot, um, all the time. And it never is seven days a week. Most people in the study said they were seriously stressed out, putting work ahead of family, which in the long run, says the authors of the study, could be contributing to Canada's shrinking population. Declining fertility for business means that uh, they have no labor force, they have nobody to buy their products. For government it means that uh, competitively where are we going to get the people to actually fill the jobs, you know, and pay taxes, etc. The study offers employers a number of recommendations to help employees balance work and life, from providing flexible hours to focusing on employee results rather than hours they keep, to firing the managers who would be deemed unsupportive. Recommendations, the authors say, are imperative for the good of Canada's population and its workforce. Lori Graham, CBC News, Toronto.